Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install code blocks on your Mac operating system to develop C or C++ programs. Now, before installing code blocks, you need to have the C or C++ compilers, which doesn't come by default on your Mac operating system. So for those, uh, you need to have the C lang or C lang++ uh, command line tool to compile your C or C++ programs. So there are two different ways using which you can install those C and C++ compilers. One is by using the App Store and then installing the Xcode. And the other option is by using command line and not installing Xcode directly, but using this command to install the essential tools and and not Xcode fully. So this command might save you some GBs of your memory because it's not going to install the full Xcode IDE. It's going to just install the essential Xcode tool for the C and C++ languages. And this might be enough, right? Now, if you choose the second option, which is by using the command line to install those tools, then just go to the spotlight and search for terminal here and just open the terminal. And here we are going to paste this command and then press enter. And in my case, it says install requested for command line tool. And then once you minimize this terminal window, you will see this kind of uh, window, which says the Xcode command line requires command line developers tools would you like to install those tools now? So I'm going to click on install and then you just need to agree with those license terms and conditions. And then it's going to find those uh, softwares and then it's going to install those software if they are not already installed on your Mac operating system. So just wait for this to finish. And now I can see this software is installed. So I'm going to click on done and once those compilers are installed. You can even go to uh, the terminal and check the clang command. So I'm going to just give clang and then space hyphen hyphen version here and then press enter and it's going to give me some kind of output. It says clang version, this is installed. That means those compilers are now successfully installed. And now we can continue with the installation of code blocks. So for that, you just need to open your favorite browser and search for code blocks. And the first link which will appear here will be from codeblocks.org. So we're going to click on this link. And once you are in this website, you can see the download option here. So click on this download option. And uh, then you have the download the binary release option. And then you have the source code option. So I'm going to click on the download the binary release option. And then here you can see Windows option, Linux option and Mac OS option. What we need to do is we need to click on this uh, sourceforge.net option, which is going to open this kind of web page. And then you can see by default, the file option is selected. So here you just need to click on the download button, which is the green button here. So I'm going to click on this download button, which is going to start the download of this DMG file. So you can see this code blocks dot DMG file is downloaded. It's around 26 megabytes. So it will be downloaded really fast. Just click on this file to install the code blocks and let me minimize this browser. So the installation process is really simple. You just need to drag this icon into your applications folder. So what you need to do is just press command key on your keyboard and then drag and drop this uh, icon on your applications folder, which is going to copy the code blocks binary into your uh, applications folder. And once that's done, you will be able to see the code blocks in the apps section. So just click on this apps section and now this code blocks icon is available. So just click on code blocks. 
So for the first time when you start code blocks, you might see this kind of warning which says code blocks not opened. Apple could not verify code blocks is free of malware that may harm your Mac or compromise your privacy. I'm going to click on done here and then I'm going to click on the settings option. So you can just click on this system settings option from here. And then you can go to the privacy and security option. And then at the very bottom, you will see this option under security. So once you tried the code blocks, it's going to add this option here. So it says code blocks was blocked to protect your Mac. So just click on open any way here and then click on open any way and then click on use password and give your MacBook's password, which you use to log in to your Mac operating system. So I'm going to give that password here and then press OK here, which is going to open the code blocks for me. So let me just close this window. And now code blocks is going to open on my Mac operating system. So you can see code blocks is being opened. And after a few seconds, you will see this kind of option. So you might need to wait uh, up to a 30 seconds to one minute until this code block starts, right? So in my case, it took around 30 seconds. For uh, those 30 seconds, I did not see anything on the screen, right? So after 30 seconds, this uh, IDE appeared after clicking that option, right? So now code blocks is opened on my Mac operating system. And now I can create a C or C++ program by clicking on this file option. And then, and then let's select new and then project here, which is going to give me all those options. For now, I'm interested in creating the console application. So I'm going to select this option, which says console application, click on go, and then click on next here. I'm going to choose C++ here and then click on next and give uh, the name of my project. For example, test CPP project. And then the folder in which I want to save my project. So I'm going to just uh, select the documents folder and then click on open, which is going to save my project in the documents folder on MacBook, right? So this will be the complete path of that project and then click on next here. And it's going to add uh, all those options. For now, I'm going to leave everything as default and then click on finish, which is going to create my project, right? So I have uh, this test.cpp project and then uh, code blocks has created this program for me inside code blocks, right? So main.cpp contain this uh, code, which is going to print hello world. So to compile and run this program, I have all these options. So to build this, just click on this build icon, which is going to build your project. And once build is successful, you can also run your project. So you can see it says zero errors, zero warning. So build is successful and now I can see this run button. So when you click on run button, it's going to print the hello world, which is this output. And this is how we can make sure that this program runs in the terminal, right? So I can close this terminal and our program is successfully running. So this is how you can install code blocks on your Mac operating system and use it on your Mac operating system to develop C or C++ programs. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.